I call her my girlfriend because people understand that. If I explained it, they'd just think I was a weirdo. We're not here to judge anyone's fetish. I'm not a pervert. It's not like I'm more attracted to dolls than humans. So you don't have sex with her? It's not just about that. Does the doll talk to you? I know she's not a real person. In a lot of ways, she's better than a person. I can tell her things and she won't argue with me or make fun of me. I come home every night and I know she'll be there waiting. So is your toaster. No one in the world has an emotional attachment to a toaster, but a lot of people are willing to spend $7,000 on women like Amy. Have you ever tried an actual? Yeah, I'm 35. I've been in relationships. None of them fulfilled me. And one day I saw this website and maybe the perfect woman's out there somewhere, but it's not worth going through what it would take to find her. Amy makes me happy. I'm sweating. It's sort of hot in here. Not that hot. Bleeding plus tinea symptoms, fever and neurological. I'm not sure about that last one. I think he's just weird. He wasn't hallucinating. He didn't have a thought disorder. You don't think it's his order to talk to? It's not all that different from talking to your cat or a teddy bear. You don't have sex with your cat or a teddy bear. If you did, you'd probably talk to them more. The guy loves an imaginary being who's never going to respond to him. He's no crazier than millions of churchgoers. You think anything off about any patient is a symptom. This guy buys flowers, real flowers, for a piece of plastic in a dress. You know what's really crazy? Living with a human being, someone with opinions and feelings, he gets mad just because you want to take salsa classes with him one night a week. One night. He's just running away. He hangs out with a doll. He never needs to fear rejection. It's sad. You do understand the irony here. Every person in this room has a sex doll. At least the patient has the stones to be honest about it. Ooh, a metaphor. What you didn't foresee is that I actually do have a sex doll. Your doll is your kids. Yours is your parents. Yours is your charity. They're all excuses for not being in a relationship. He's not wrong. You! I have meaningless sex with random strangers. Thanks for the insight. But I stopped that months ago. I actually had a relationship. With a patient? You just date whoever happens to cross your path. My dating is getting in the way of my dating. You don't go looking for the right person. You just shack up with whoever's in the room and then you get surprised and or divorced when it doesn't work out. I'm surprised you haven't asked Adams out yet. <clears throat> uh, for your information, I've got a date tonight. I'll be jamming with a cute guy in his band. You'll bail. He's right. The obvious solution is for me to hand my kids over to your parents. Can we stop trying to argue the premise and move on to figuring out why it is that you're all social morons? You do understand the irony here. You're mocking us for avoiding relationships, but you can't handle losing your doll. You're spending all this time and energy interviewing for a new one. You're right. That is stupid. What about the patient? Dude's banging a sex doll, festering cesspool of bodily fluids and associated bacteria. Swab her out and find out which one. 